Hello and welcome, I'm Kings, and we're back with some more Skyrim Remastered. Alright, we are now doing Alduin's Bane. We're going to read the Elder Scroll and hopefully not become blind. Alright, we're at the throat it. of the world. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There okay. is no question you are doom-driven. Hogan Akatosh, the very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Alright, so we are not going to read the Elder Scroll, which is right here. Okay, let's read it. Do not delay. Huh. Barely even glanced at it. Honor your courage, Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. What's going on? So I'm just gonna have to watch this. It can actually help. Glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? <laughs> Battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us, even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Aldo and himself. Oh, sorry. Birker. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no, not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see okay. soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Looks like we're just onlookers. We can't actually participate. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. Oh shit! Hold on to 
on the wing. Sister Hawk, grant us your sacred breath to make this contract heard. Be gone, world eater. By words with older bones than your own, we break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Count you out from all our endings unto the last. Did it? Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Hmm. So it looks like we learned Dragon Rend. Um. Pretty much just keeps dragons on the ground. Oh shit. This can't be good. Shouts. Um, Dragon Rend. Here it is. Wait for him to slow his ass down. There we go. Is he supposed to fall to the ground? Come back down, you son bitch. What just happened? Why isn't it working? I just used my shout again and it didn't do anything. <sighs> Sometimes. Get some fast healing going on. I will as soon as he stops. I should stop right about now. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we can. Shut up, Lydia. We got him. Still attacking him. So I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. Hmm. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. Oh. 
Couldn't kill him. Which sucks. Let's see what Parthenax has to say about it. Um, where's he going? Okay. Lot Congrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Yeah. Ni livrach hin moro. True, this is not the final Krongra victory, but <laughs> not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Need to know where yes. he went. One of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus. But it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Hmm. Perhaps the Haf Kossigun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. Really? A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Could be interesting. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Mm, Alright. <sighs> okay. So, let's go. To White Run, Dragon's Reach. Dragon's Reach, there we go. Oak. Oh, he was still talking. Oops. Okay. Chickens. Chickens. Okay. So we gotta convince the Jarl to house a dragon in his castle. This is gonna go well. What could go wrong? Okay. Quick save. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, <clears throat> I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. <sighs> what you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city with the threat of war on my doorstep? Yes. There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin, the world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? We need to know where he's at. You dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. No, of course. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while they're slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are <laughs> under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then, I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon-trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. What of the Greybeards? What of them? They are respected by all Nords. 
High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Maybe. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war in the bargain. All right. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Okay, so uh, we gotta go talk to the Greybeard and see if they're willing to host a peace conference between um, two warring parties. Yeah, shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Okay, going back to High Hrothgar. Hmm. Okay. Let's save it. Like, actually save it. Is that a quick save? Um, I'm not sure if this will make it so I can't do uh, the storyline for... Uh, either side the, the the Imperials or the Stormcloak, so I will save it here, just to make sure. Okay, we're looking for... what's his face? Goodwin, we heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? Yeah, but he escaped, as much. A douche. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. Hmm. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political... It's always a first. I see. The Dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. It seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay. Sky, guard you. So now we have to go to... Winterhold and Solitude, if I remember correctly, those, those two uh, base of operations. I haven't been at Winterhold yet, or not Winterhold, uh, Windhelm, I think is where it's at. Yeah, it's Windhelm. We have been to Solitude, so let's go there real quick. And then we'll use the carriage ride to go to Windhelm. Okay. Let's quick save it. Um We are now doing this one, so yeah, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Yeah, yeah, the Dawn Guard, I understand. Okay. Hopefully we don't get stopped by Imperials. Bunch of them standing right here. Word is the College of Mate. Okay. By sure is that is that a Zora star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? It's none of your what business. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Yeah. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Um Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. 
I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm you. He hasn't reported in yet? Isn't that called, in called the meantime, AWOL? Why don't you have a chat with Legget Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm telling you. Speak with Legget Ricca. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Um. Why, yeah. There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. No, that's my job. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. So you'll come? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. Good. For all the good it will do. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Okay, so now we have to go to Windhelm. So let's go to the carriage. We'll just fast travel to the carriage. Um, it's right here. And then pay like 50 gold or whatever it is to go to Windhelm and discover it. Hmm. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. Man to hit the school. Where is the guy? Is he farther down? Here he is. Way up here. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I want to go to Windhelm. Win, win, Windhelm. Climb Twenty gold. Back and we'll be off. Okay, climb in back. I will climb in back. Ever been to Windham? Oldest city in <coughs> Skyrim by some time. They say the big old palace there was built by Yid. Yigus, Yigus more? Yigus, Yigus, I don't know. I do not know how to pronounce that word, or any words, probably, probably. That's just me. Okay, this is Windhelm. Okay, Stormcloaks everywhere. Don't worry, guys. I won't betray you later and join the Legion. I promise. Pretty bad, badass castle wall. It would take forever to siege it. Windhelm is the snowiest city in Skyrim. Okay. If you say so. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute the city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Hmm. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. You come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Rolf is the worst by far. He hmm. likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. <laughs> hmm. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. 
And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. Racist sons of bitches, fact, aren't they? Just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. I'm a Breton. Does that count? All right then. Okay, I didn't really mean to sit, stand there for that long. St stuck on a rock again. Okay, stand there that long. I need to go up to that. Uh, that, whatever that is. I'm guessing it's like a uh, Dragon Streets, but for one helm. My guess. Palace of the Kings. Okay. Big door. Algrus won't give us a straight answer. I do the He's cooking and cleaning around the palace. Come around. I didn't ask. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted I remember you. From you were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak with Galmar. He handles the new recruits. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to me? Mm -hmm. Message from the it's Greybeards. It's time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate troops. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. <laughs> yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Not sure it's exactly gonna go that way, but what okay. Would you have me do. If he's not with us, he's against us. Guess you're kind of anal about this whole thing, aren't you? But uh, let's go back to um, High Hrothgar. Right? Yes. N no. Uh ah. no. Okay, what is what is that? The ritual stone. I don't know what that is. But we're going back to High Hrothga. Huh. Alright. But uh, we're going to do this whole war council, peace council, whatever thing in the next episode, guys. Uh, so uh, give me a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.